Tiger Woods showed no remorse, turning down a deal that could have changed his career. Tiger Woods turned down an $800 million offer from Live Golf, almost matching his $1 billion net worth. Woods criticized Live Golf CEO and even questioned the deal's impact on the sport he loves. Tiger Woods left Nike to start his own brand, Sunday Red, focusing on putting athletes first. Looking back at his career, Tiger Woods has been making a fortune for a while now. His first deal with Nike is still surreal to look back on, worth millions. Nowadays, Woods is still adding to his net worth, while turning down huge money offers as well. In the following, we're going to take a closer look at the offer Tiger Woods turned down, and exactly how much he said no to. We'll reveal Tiger's reasoning, and why he even put the PGA on blast. We're going to conclude by taking a look at other business decisions made by Woods, which included saying goodbye to Nike and starting his very own brand. Tiger Woods and Ellen Nordegren's scandalous divorce wasn't messy enough. For some people who thought the couple both underwent plastic surgery, one of the biggest, if not the biggest offers of his career. According to Live Golf CEO Greg Norman, an offer was put in place for Tiger to join the organization. The reported rejected offer, between $700 million and $800 million. The sum would have potentially almost matched Tiger's net worth, which is over $1 billion. Greg Norman told Tucker Carlson about the offer. That number was out there before I became CEO. Look, Tiger is a needle mover, right? So, of course, you are got to look at the best of the best, said Norman. They had originally approached Tiger before I became CEO. That number is somewhere in that neighborhood. Not only did Tiger turn down the offer, but he also took shots at Greg and his intent with Live Golf. I know Greg tried to do this back in the early 90s. It didn't work then, and he's trying to make it work now. I still don't see how that's in the best interests of the game. Woods added, Greg has done some things that I don't think is in the best interest of our game. And we're coming back to probably the most historic and traditional place in our sport. Donald Trump allegedly told a Playboy playmate to stay away from Tiger Woods, while Hugh Hefner didn't have the kindest words for the golfer. The number offered to Tiger clearly didn't rattle the golfer, and, in fact, he would continue to take shots at Live Golf in recent years. Not only did Tiger turn down the deal, but he has also been insistent on the PGA Tour and Live staying separate. Tiger took exception to a possible deal being reached without consulting the players. Jay understands what happened prior to that can't happen again, and it won't happen again, not with the players involved, not with the player directors having the role we have.